Welcome to our video about the fascinating world of medical imaging to understand how PT scans detect and visualize cancer in the body. PET scans, or positron emission tomography scans, are cutting-edge tools used by oncologists and radiologists to get a clear picture of what's happening inside our bodies. Unlike traditional imaging techniques that show structures and anatomy, PET scans highlight the metabolic activity of cells, making them incredibly valuable in detecting cancer early, monitoring its progression, and evaluating the effectiveness of treatments. In this video, we'll explore the science behind PET scans, how they work, and why they are so crucial in the fight against cancer. We'll break down the process step by step, from the injection of the radioactive tracer to the creation of detailed 3D images that reveal the presence of cancerous cells. We'll also discuss the advantages of PET scans, including their ability to detect cancer early and their role in providing accurate staging and monitoring of the disease. Additionally, we'll touch on how PET scans are often combined with other imaging techniques like CT, computed tomography, or MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, to provide even more comprehensive information. This combination lets doctors see exactly where metabolic activity happens in the body, improving the accuracy of diagnosis and treatment planning. So whether you're a patient, caregiver, or just curious about medical technology, this video will offer valuable insights into how PET scans are helping to save lives. So what exactly is a PET scan? A PET, positron emission tomography scan, is a powerful imaging technique used in oncology to detect and monitor cancer. This advanced scan provides detailed images of the body's metabolic processes, helping doctors identify cancerous tissues with high precision. Unlike traditional imaging methods that focus on the structure of organs and tissues, PET scans reveal how tissues and organs are functioning on a cellular level. During a PET scan, a small amount of a radioactive tracer is injected into the patient's bloodstream. This tracer is typically a form of glucose, known as FDG, fluorodeoxyglucose, which cancer cells absorb at higher rates due to their increased metabolic activity. As the tracer accumulates in cancerous tissues, it emits positrons, which are detected by the PET scanner to produce detailed images. These images show areas of high metabolic activity, often corresponding to cancerous growths, allowing doctors to see not only the location of a tumor, but also its metabolic behavior. This information is crucial for diagnosing cancer, determining its stage, planning treatment, and monitoring how well the treatment is working. PET scans are particularly valuable because they can detect cancer early, even before it becomes visible on other imaging tests like CT or MRI scans. This early detection is vital for improving treatment outcomes and survival rates. Moreover, PET scans are used to monitor the effectiveness of treatments, helping doctors make informed decisions about ongoing or future therapies. So, what does going through a PET scan feel like? Experiencing a PET scan is generally straightforward and non-invasive, but knowing what to expect can help alleviate any anxiety. Before the scan, you might be asked to fast for several hours because eating can affect the distribution of the radioactive tracer. You'll also be instructed to avoid strenuous exercise for a day or so before the scan. The process begins with the injection of a small amount of a radioactive tracer into your bloodstream. The injection might feel like a small prick, similar to a routine blood test. After the injection, you'll need to wait for about 30 to 60 minutes to allow the tracer to circulate and be absorbed by your tissues. During this time, you'll be asked to sit quietly and avoid any strenuous activity to ensure the tracer is distributed evenly. You might feel a bit anxious or restless during this waiting period, but it's usually a good time to relax and stay calm. And when it's time for the scan, you'll lie down on a cushioned table that slides into the PET scanner which looks like a large donut-shaped machine. The technician will make sure you're comfortable and explain that it's important to stay as still as possible during the scan to get clear images. The scan itself is painless and quiet. You might hear a slight humming or clicking noise from the machine. The scanner detects the gamma rays emitted by the tracer in your body and creates detailed 3D images. The entire scanning process usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour. 
If you feel any discomfort or need assistance, you can communicate with the technician through an intercom. Additionally, the room is shielded to protect the technician from prolonged exposure to radiation. Although the amount of radiation is minimal, it's important for healthcare professionals to limit their exposure as much as possible. That's why the technician monitors you from a separate control room and communicates through the intercom to ensure your comfort and safety without entering the room unless absolutely necessary. Once the scan is complete, you can return to your normal activities. The radioactive tracer will naturally leave your body through urine over the next few hours. Drinking plenty of water can help speed up this process. There are typically no side effects, and you'll be able to eat and drink as usual. The images produced by the PET scan are reviewed by a radiologist, who will interpret the results and send a report to your doctor. Your doctor will then discuss the findings with you and explain any next steps. Now that we've covered how a PET scan works and what the experience is like, let's explore the benefits of this powerful imaging technique. One of the key advantages of PET scans is their ability to detect cancerous cells at an early stage, often before structural changes are visible on CT or MRI scans. This early detection is crucial as it allows for prompt treatment, improving the chances of successful outcomes. PET scans are also highly accurate in staging cancer, providing detailed information on the extent and spread of the disease, which is essential for developing an effective treatment plan. In addition to initial detection and staging, PET scans are invaluable for monitoring the response to treatment. By showing changes in metabolic activity over time, doctors can assess how well the treatment is working and make necessary adjustments. This ability to track treatment progress helps in tailoring therapies to achieve the best possible results for the patient. Furthermore, PET scans are effective in detecting cancer recurrence. They can identify metabolic changes indicative of returning cancer cells before symptoms appear, allowing for early intervention. This early detection of recurrence is vital for initiating prompt treatment and improving long-term survival rates. Often, PET scans are combined with CT, computed tomography, or MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, to provide even more detailed information. This combination, known as PET-CT or PET-MRI, allows doctors to correlate metabolic activity with anatomical structures, significantly improving the accuracy of diagnosis and treatment planning. A PET-CT scan integrates the metabolic information from the PET scan with the detailed anatomical images from the CT scan. This fusion provides a more comprehensive view of the body, enabling doctors to pinpoint the exact location of cancerous cells and understand their relationship with surrounding tissues and organs. The CT scan provides a clear picture of the body's internal structures, while the PET scan highlights areas of abnormal metabolic activity. Together they offer a powerful tool for detecting and staging cancer, as well as planning and monitoring treatment. Similarly, a PET MRI scan combines the metabolic insights of PET with the high-resolution images of soft tissues provided by MRI. This combination is particularly useful for imaging the brain, spine, and other areas where MRI excels. PET MRI scans are valuable in assessing the extent of cancer, planning surgeries or radiation therapy, and evaluating treatment responses, especially in cases where detailed soft tissue contrast is crucial. By using PET in conjunction with CT or MRI, doctors can achieve a more accurate and comprehensive assessment of cancer. This combined approach enhances the ability to detect small tumors, differentiate between benign and malignant lesions, and determine the exact stage of the disease. It also helps in precisely targeting treatments and monitoring their effectiveness, ultimately leading to better patient outcomes. But while PET scans are incredibly useful, they have some limitations. One of the primary concerns is the potential for false positives. Infections and inflammatory conditions can also show high metabolic activity, which may be mistaken for cancerous growths. This can lead to unnecessary anxiety and additional testing to confirm the diagnosis. Therefore, it is essential for doctors to interpret PET scan results in conjunction with other clinical information and diagnostic tests. Another important consideration is the exposure to radiation. As we've covered earlier, 
PT scans involved the use of a radioactive tracer, which emits a small amount of radiation. While the risk is generally low, it is still a factor to consider, particularly for certain populations. For example, PET scans are used carefully in pregnant women and young children to limit their exposure to radiation. In these cases, alternative imaging methods or delaying the scan might be recommended unless the benefits clearly outweigh the risks. Additionally, PET scans can be costly and may not be readily available in all medical facilities. The availability and affordability of PET scans can vary depending on geographic location and healthcare infrastructure. As such, access to this advanced imaging technology might be limited for some patients. And there you have it, our video on how PET scans see cancer. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with others who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health and wellness. And if you have any questions or personal experiences with PET scans, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you'd like to support our channel, consider sending us a super thanks or checking out our merch. Thanks for watching and have a healthy and happy day.